Welcome back to the show. I'm the Beer Adventure. I'm Carissa. And on this episode, Boat Drinks, it's a Margarita Gose, or Goza, I'm not exactly sure. Mm -hmm. Heard pronounced both ways, and a couple ways that probably aren't right. Um, this one is from Crosstown Brewing Company, which is a pretty local brewery, uh, relatively new. And I know, like, the owners and the head brewer and, like, a bunch of people that's worked there. Like, great place. Um, I actually bought this at the brewery the other night. So, this is kind of a limited run. Um... And I got a little, a little hot tip the other night when I was getting it that they're going to do something the same but different next year because this one did well. So they're already got on the docket. Oh my. Yes. It's pretty. Oh, color. oh yes. Color's pretty. So it says that it was uh, brewed with lemon, lime, and salt. Okay. So I don't see an ABV on I didn't here. I one. But um, meh. Whatever. I'll uh, give it a shot to look for it and put it in the description down there. Label's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. By the way, did you like this video yet? We haven't even started watching it, but that's okay. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. And we do this kind of stuff all the time. Oh, does it smell good? Mm. You just puckered up. Let's see. I like it. It does have that little hint of coriander, which eh, I'm not a huge coriander fan. <laughs> but there's enough of the lemon and the lime yes. in there. Yeah. Well, now at the back, back end, I'm tasting a little bit more of the coriander. But um, like it. it's not the punch you in the tongue like yeah. some of them are. Some of them are like, oh, I can't do that. Not even another drink. I like it. Um, so, you know, this is kind of a mild sour, mm -hmm. so you're not really going to be real hoppy. Uh, you're not going to have that real overpowering malt note. Um, it is a little tart, a little sour, but it's not overly tart or sour. Uh, I do taste the lemon and the lime. I do. I get the Very saltiness. Much. You don't really taste the salt no. you feel the you feel salt. it yeah yeah i definitely um, agree with that there is a little coriander mm -hmm. which i could do without that i know it's traditional it's okay it's a um <laughs> but the important thing is, is I, I just keep picking it back up to drink more uh, so it's it's refreshing mm-hmm You know, I kind of feel like a lot of people do these more in the summer, mm. but I actually like this kind of beer more in the fall and in the winter, as weird as it sounds, because I want something to cut through the gloom. Um, I mean, I'll drink Guinness in the dead hot uh. July and August, because right. I like malty beers, but... I think the cut through the gloom beer is underserved in the winter. And the winters in Tennessee can be kind of gloomy. Um, I don't know. This is a happy beer. I was just going to say it brings a little sunshine to you. It does. It's, <laughs> it's happy. <laughs> it so, makes me think of margaritas. The name's I do. great. I, I do. So, yeah. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, guys at Crosstown, like. Good job. Hit the nail on the head. Good job. Um, Dig it. Dig it a lot. Honestly, from them, I haven't had a beer I don't like. I've had no. some beers I like more than others, but I mean, 
once you've had 20 some odd beers of theirs, you know, there's going to be one or two that you like the best. But that make the only IPA I drink. You know, there's three people that I know of right off the top of my head that don't like IPAs but actually order Crosstown's IPA. We got, I got to do that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not an IPA fan at all, but I will drink theirs. Yeah. So, um, what do you think? Did you dig it? Dig it. I do dig it. Uh, would you have another? Sure would. Which is pretty good because I bought a four pack to get these. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, now, how many would you put in a pick six? You know, I, I don't know if they sold them in four packs or six packs at the store. Uh, I don't remember. I, don't remember. I bought sure. this at the brewery. Um, but I, I mean, I've been to play a place or two. I don't know if they did them in pick sixes, but here's the thing: like, this would definitely be worth putting in a pick six. Absolutely, especially if you've never had a goze before and you're really leery. Now, um, that being said, if you enjoy this type of beer, it's worth going ahead and pulling, yeah. you know, the entire yeah. like, four or six pack. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, Absolutely. Uh, I now, like, I dig it a lot. as I like far it. as this goes, one to ten, where are you putting it? Eight. It's an eight for me. Now, that being said, if they had toned down the coriander even a little more, <laughs> this would have been a nine. So sad. I understand that. <laughs> and remember, folks. Our, you know, our our numbers are our own, and you know, reviews are arbitrary. Right. Um, Everybody has their opinion. Is exactly. that okay? Yeah, but this is a highly drinkable beer. It is. Oh, I like it a lot. I do like it a lot. Well, now if you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and smash like. You should subscribe. Mm -hmm. We drink beer. We have fun. Uh, let's talk about it in the comments to your next beer adventure. Cheers.